What went wrong with the 737 MAX? Why did it take two crashes before the aircraft was fixed? Well, it all has to deal with one simple addition to the 737 MAX airframe, the MCAS system. The MCAS, or Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, is the system that measured the angle of attack on the 737 MAX aircraft, which would calculate and send the aircraft into a dive if a stall was detected by the system. By aviation standards, this was quite old technology, but the implementation of it is the thing that caused all these crashes. Though before you can understand what went wrong, you first have to understand the history of the 737. The legacy of the 737, and arguably one of the most influential aircraft Boeing has ever made, started in 1967 with the first flight of the 737-100. Over the years, the small aircraft would gain popularity and trust within the industry, with airlines requesting other variants to suit their needs. With this, Boeing would go on to make the following variants, 737-100-200-300-400-500-600-700-800 and-900. And then the MAX variants would include the MAX 7, MAX 8, MAX 9, and MAX 10. There are many similarities between each variant and generation of the aircraft, since they changed the engines and the cabin length for the new variants, with very little changes to the airframe. The first major red flag with the MAX aircraft is all the modern features on the airframe, without any major updates to the airframe, or a totally new aircraft design. This is partially due to the CEO of Boeing at the time of the MAX aircraft trying to up the value of Boeing stock shares. Going for profit, more, uh, moreover, the safety of the aircraft. What is the MCAS system exactly? As I mentioned before, the MCAS system is a new feature added to the 737 MAX variants to modernize the already dated airframe Boeing has been using. The MCAS system was situated at the nose of the MAX aircraft near the cockpit so it could measure the most accurate information of the angle of attack that the aircraft was facing. The MCAS sensor was connected to the flight computer which would then read the AOA from the AOA sensor, which would then trim the aircraft depending on if the aircraft's AOA, or angle of attack, was too high. This system was intended to prevent stalls from happening due to human error. Now, what went wrong with this system and the 737 MAX aircraft? To say the least, many things went wrong. From the corruption in Boeing's corporate offices down to the exact sensor of the MCAS system. So what went wrong with the MCAS system is the implementation of it. This safety feature on the new 737 MAX aircraft had only one sensor on the nose of the aircraft reading the AOA for the MCAS system. The aircraft had multiple angle of attack sensors but only one was connected to the MCAS system and the flight computer to measure the angle of attack and trim the aircraft accordingly. So during the infamous Lion Air flight, the AOA sensor malfunctioned and read the AOA of the aircraft wrong. This caused the flight computer to assume the AOA was too high and thus trimmed the aircraft accordingly to recover from the assumed stall or almost stall. The thing is, the aircraft was never in a stall. The pilots had control over the aircraft and at a normal pitch angle for shortly after takeoff. So when the aircraft was forced into a dive, the pilots were completely clueless to, due to many reasons. For one, they didn't know why the aircraft was diving, and they didn't know what caused it. 
As this was happening, the pilots tried to trim the aircraft, though the flight computer kept forcing them into a dive, making the trim wheel completely useless. Seconds later, the aircraft would plunge into the ocean beneath them, killing all on board. Pilots, flight attendants, and every single passenger. Could all of these crashes been avoided? Could it really just been avoided entirely? The answer to this is yes. The two 737 MAX crashes could have been avoided if the pilots had known about this system, and if the system had multiple sensors connected to it. Now the thing is, both of these paths can be traced back to the company at source, Boeing. The MCAS system, which should have been a system that would be flagged by the FAA as needing higher levels of redundancy and higher levels of pilot training, was never mentioned in handbooks of the aircraft. The pilots never knew about the MCAS system, so if it ever went haywire, they wouldn't know how to fix it, and they were never trained on it, so they wouldn't know what to even do if something like that were to happen. Due to Boeing's negligence with, the hand with the handbooks and lack of training for the system, it all can be traced back to one source, though more about that a bit later on. The thing is, the MCAS system should have also had, at minimum, two sensors connected to it. But the aircraft rolled off the assembly line with only one sensor connected to the MCAS system. On a safety feature, this is completely unacceptable. Though it wasn't written like this in documentation, so the FAA barely knew about it, uh, it, it can highlight one thing as a source. Boeing's corporate offices. Since the CEO of Boeing was trying to increase the stock market share of the company, Boeing's safety deteriorated. The engineers were less connected to the management and cost-saving measures were put in place leading to an aircraft with one sensor on a safety feature leaving the factory. In conclusion, while this video wasn't ever meant to degrade Boeing, since I know they have great aircraft, and the aircraft often are really safe, this video was meant to highlight how corruption in Boeing's corporate offices caused the crashes of two aircraft. Crashes that could have been completely avoided if the pilots had received the proper training and knowledge, as well as a safety feature having higher levels of redundancy on an aircraft. And due to this redundancy with air travel, it makes it the safest form of transportation in the world. Though when money gets in the way of safety, that is when it gets dicey. But for now, I wish you guys the best. Dream big, fly high. Ecker Bravo, India.